was in the world, I was always searching. And I think this is a condition of most people. Either people are searching for material wealth, because they think it will bring peace, or they start searching for directly for inner peace through any, any means, any method. Even Eastern religions, uh, far away from their Western inheritance, through uh, meditations which they have learned from somewhere, anywhere, through all kinds of uh, intoxicants, through uh, drug-related, uh, drug-assisted uh, states of, uh, of elation. So inner peace is searched for, but it's not usually found. Perhaps uh, if you have love, human love, which is perfect, it will give you the gift of peace. But how do you find a perfect love? I certainly didn't. So I searched for inner peace, but I didn't find it by any of the avenues which usually are taken to, to arrive at it. And I was still believing in it and still searching for it. And this, I think, is a condition of most Western people. They have an idea, like a mirage of inner peace in front of them, and they search for it, and they move toward it. But every time they move toward it, it seems further away. And I was in that state. I was a materialist in that sense, that the life, the body is material, and when the body dies, the life is extinguished. As when you extinguish a candle, the flame is gone. After death, I didn't believe in anything. I thought that it is the end. Death ends it all. And when the body is in the, in the coffin, I used to work in hospitals during my, my summer uh, vacations from the university. And many times it was my job to carry the patients who had died during the night down to the morgue. And I remember one night a girl died of, uh, she had uh, enlarged head, uh, elephantitis, I don't know the name exactly. And her head was almost as large as her whole body. Her whole body was so small. And this girl died. And when she died, I just, I didn't put her in the usual trolley. I just picked her up in my arms and just carried her down to the morgue. And she was so cold. And I felt that the little girl that I had seen suffering for a few weeks in the hospital was gone. And that was my first taste of, my first experience of the flatness of death. That the body is inert, it's extinct.